Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Voyager, Optimus Prime and I love this toy. Originally released in February of 2013, this guy is a Voyager size and he retailed for approximately $23. Now, Optimus here, this was kind of like the second incarnation that we got of Optimus Prime during the uh, Transformers Prime show. Once they went into Beast Hunters, uh, Prime was taught to be dead and uh, instead uh, he ended up getting reformatted. And uh, we got actually quite a pretty cool beefed up version of Optimus Prime. He went back to being a flat cab truck, like you can see here. And uh, he has kind of a lot of these uh, like spiky details that we, we saw in a lot of those Beast Hunter toys. Um, but the actual robot mode, I thought, just looks so cool. Very strong and powerful looking. And he's got a flight mode, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, here in truck mode, Optimus is approximately five and a half inches long and about three and a half inches tall at the top of the smokestacks here. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, as you can see, he's a reformatted truck. He's a flat cab now. And uh, um, a lot of people have referred to this as somewhat of a um, kind of like a dump truck. Uh, and I can kind of see that it's got a lot of similarities uh, with the dump truck. It's got, you know, the kind of like almost looks like it's got this this dump back here in, in the back. Um, rolls OK. Dieter is pretty good. Rolls OK. About as uh, well as uh, it's going to roll. It's got the new style of wheels. The, they're no longer using the pins anymore. These are just the clipped on wheels. But for what it is, it rolls pretty OK. Uh, details are nice. Uh, now, there is a lot of touching up that I have done on this figure. Originally, this had only the black wheels, and I painted those silver. And I did a lot of little silver details in the front here, like these headlights uh, out here, the ones in here, this little bottom part down there. I painted all of that. Uh, I did a silver rim around the windshields here, which a lot of it is fading now. Originally, this had this translucent green windows like you can see on the top here and I painted those and the way I did that is I just painted it in from the inside with a sharpie. So they still kind of retained a little bit of the translucency while being a different color. These uh, side windows here were originally uh, yellow just like you see these uh, yellow um, details here on the front. That's the same color that these windows were and I painted those black and then I also gave silver details here to these uh, rear view mirrors. Now, these rear views tend to uh, scratch off a lot because these are going to work as the pegs for the shoulders later on during transformation. So, And then um, all of this, uh, uh, there's, there's some more touching up that I did to it in robot mode. Uh, we'll see that when we get there. Uh, but here in truck mode, this entire back piece, this like wing piece on the top here and these um, sides of the of the dump here and all that, this was all the same unpainted gray. Kind of like you can see this unpainted gray underneath there. That's the same color that all of this was. And I just took a silver Sharpie to it. And the reason I went with Sharpie is because it looks silver, but it also kind of does that. It, it leaves kind of a little bit of lining uh, which is kind of the effect that I wanted to go with. So it looks a little more metallic, at least to me it does. So that's the reason I went with that. But enough about that. Uh, getting back to the toy itself. Rolls okay. And as you can see, all the way going all the way around. Uh, peg those back together. Uh, there's not a whole lot of robot to show. You can see a little bit. You can see the arms in the back here. And you can see a little bit of the head. Other than that, he does a pretty good job of looking like a truck. He does come with some weapons. Optimus here came with his Star Saber Sword, which you can store up here at the top. And then he also came with a pair of these missile launchers right here. And uh, these are nice because they're spring-loaded, so you can actually shoot those off and, you know, shoot somebody's face off with it. And uh, now they've got these things on the side here. And again, this is a lot of what they did with the Beast Hunter stuff. Uh, I know, for example, like uh, Bumblebee had a lot of, had like a crossbow that he would shoot. So they, they, they have these arms here on these launchers that you can open up. And I guess that kind of looks like a crossbow as well. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I typically just leave them closed. But uh, there you go. If you like them, either way you like them, you can, you can use them anyway. You can open them just a little bit if you want, whatever. It's really up to you. And you can store these on the sides of the vehicle here. You can see there's some little pegs right there on the side. And if you know me, you know that I am not a big fan of storing weapons in vehicles when they're just spl uh, displayed on the side like that just very obvious weapons sitting on you know cannons sitting on the side right there and a big sword on the top i'm not a big fan of that but that is the 
storage option that they gave us so there you go if you choose to do it that way um personally i like to leave them off <laughs> and just uh, I, I i just like the look of the truck itself i really do like this truck i like this truck a lot so i don't like ruining it with just random cannons and a sword sitting on top of there so there you go. Uh, getting into transformation, uh, we're going to start off here on the sides. And uh, these side panels here are pegged into the arms. And because I have painted them, they're, they've gotten a little thick, so they can be a little difficult for me to pull off. But there you go. Uh, just pull those off to the side like that. And then this whole top piece is going to flip up and out of the way. And we're just going to leave it up there like that. Uh, come up to the front here. These claws, as you can see, one was already moved. They do peg right there to the front of the grill. So just unpeg those and bring them down. These side panels are going to unpeg and come all the way around to the front, just like so. And they're going to peg together right there at the front. And then you just bring these claws all the way down. And then you can see there's two hinges here. So just kind of bring that all the way down like that. Leave it there for now. It's out of the way. The arms are pegged into the um, well, back of the truck here, which is going to become the legs. So just unpeg those. And then bring that up and you can see there's a hinge up here for the upper body there's a little hinge right there so just bring that up and rotate the upper body all the way around bring the legs down and you can unpeg these now and reach down here for the heel spurs and just bring these out just like that there's the legs done now the arms are going to come all the way around to the front right here at this hinge we're going to need to move the camera up so let's move that up how's that is that going to be good? I might need to move it up later. We'll see. All right. So the arms are going to swing forward, and you're going to see that little uh, port right there. That's going to peg in right here to this rear view mirror. So just peg that in right there and straighten out the arm. Same thing on this side. Peg the arm. Bring it down. Now, going around the back, um, this piece here, again, this is you're going to bring these uh, claws down and over as far back as you can get them. And then that double hinge, oh, before we do that, we're going to want to bring the head up. So just reach back in here, bring the head up. It's going to click in place, just like that. And uh, this is pretty cool. You can actually look in there and see the entire inside of Optimus' chest, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, double hinge on this piece right here, this is going to um, uh, accordion all the way up. And you can see there's a groove right there behind Optimus' head. And that's going to accommodate for this round piece right here for this hinge. So that's going to sit there. And then this whole piece is going to come down. And then there's a hinge here. This thing is going to rotate. And if you look right here, there's two tabs here. They're going to peg into here and here. And that's going to lock all of this together, hold everything in place. And uh, there is Beast Hunters Optimus Prime in robot mode. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy the way this guy looks. He just looks very powerful. Um, just a very nice upgrade to the Optimus Prime that we had in Transformers Prime. Here in robot mode, Optimus is approximately seven inches tall. And uh, just coming in close to look at the face. Uh, now, one point of contention that I have is that he does not have the, uh, the face mask. Um, I know that in the show, most of the time he didn't have the face mask. Uh, he only put it on when he was going into battle. But I am I'm a fan of the face mask and I prefer Optimus Prime having a face mask. Uh, however, all of that being said, that's actually a pretty good mold and is very well representative of what we saw on the show. I like the nice long spikes on the ears and the, this uh, crest on this forehead is very long. Uh, very nice looking head, uh, all in all, even though he doesn't have the, uh, the face mask. So, uh, As far as detail goes, again, um, I did add some detail to this. Uh, I painted in uh, this piece right here. Oh, we need to focus. Um, this piece right here, I painted the silver right here. Uh, I also gave him some silver on the kneecaps. Uh, I've given him some silver details, like for example, here on the cuffs uh, and a little bit of panel lining. I started panel lining this guy and then I stopped. I never finished. I just kind of did the arms and left it like that. But there you go. So, yeah, I, I did do a little bit of, uh, of custom detailing on this guy myself. Um, for articulation, we've got a rotation at the head. However, um, only go about this far. Okay, uh, you don't want to go all the way around. Optimus has these grooves up here on his shoulders. We'll zoom in again. And uh, so the, when, I, when I recently got this toy, or well, yeah, right after I gotten this toy, um, you saw that his head shows a little bit in truck mode. So what I had tried to do was turn his head all the way around 
and uh, and I was hoping to be able to turn it around to stow it in truck mode so that you wouldn't see it as much. And what I ended up doing uh, is because I hit these edges right here, these grooves. You, if you can see there, right there on his little, he's got two two little chin pieces there. The one on this side, I ended up bending it uh, and and warping it, uh, trying trying to get it over this thing. So you're not going to want to go all the way around with his head. Just kind of go to those two points right there. That's really all you need. Uh, shoulders can go all the way around and uh, you can go in and out as well on the outside shoulder here uh, you have a rotation at the bicep you have a um, bend at the elbow and you have rotation at the wrist uh, you have um, well not really you have the ability to turn them at the torso however that's really meant for transformation itself and uh, let's see yeah, there we go. Okay, it was stuck. Uh, so the torso itself can rotate, but that's for transformation. So you want to leave that alone. But you do have a little bit of rotation at the waist. And now nothing is pegged in where it's supposed to. There we go. Okay, so you do have some rotation at the waist. However, the waist is going to hit this uh, back piece here. And it's going to push back on your uh, backpack there. So it is going to be a little limited uh, of what you're going to want to do there. You got a universal joint at the hips here. So you can go forward and backward and in and out. You have a rotation at the knee as well as a bend. And then you have uh, some pivot at here, down here at the foot and the ankle. So very nicely articulated figure. You can do quite a bit of posing with it. And, uh, and we can give him his uh, sword right here. So you can see what it looks like with a sword. And then also these launchers, you can give them one or both. You can give them a launcher in each arm. Or I've seen a lot of people do this where he's got the one launcher like that. You can open that if you want, just like so. And then also I've seen a lot of people do this where they put one launcher on the top and one on the bottom. So you can kind of have like, like a dual kind of launcher like that. And that does look pretty cool, actually. I kind of quite enjoy that. And uh, let's do, I, I don't typically do this, but there you go. You can do that as well. And that looks pretty cool. So there's that. Now, uh, there is a flight mode for Optimus, as we mentioned. Optimus does have wings, and uh, he did gain the ability to fly in the show after he was reformatted. So, the way we're going to do that is uh, we're going to go back here to the backpack one more time. And right at the uh, top of the wings here, you're going to notice that there is a hinge. So, we can bring these up and turn them. And that is going to give us our flight mode. And then, if you want... You can, uh, you can bring these in. Now, this is kind of hard to do. Uh, these are very, very tight. But a lot of, uh, uh, I've seen this done a lot, is where people bring in these uh, cannons. And there are some holes on the inside here. And you can peg them into that to use them as a bit of thrusters. However, do be careful if you do this. This is, um, this red piece, very thin plastic. And for whatever reason, this is a super, super tight fit. So the way you want to do it is you kind of want to ease it in. Just kind of rotate it back and forth until the heat uh, until the uh, cannon actually slides in there and then do the same coming out when you pull it out just kind of rotate it back and forth and gently pull on it um because i've seen a lot of people stress and even break that red piece down in there so just be careful with that but you can as you can see you can do that you can plug those in there and use them as thrusters and then uh, what you're going to want to do is you've got these shoulder pauldrons here that are on hinges and uh typically i prefer the look of them down like this but uh you can do whatever you want with them I, I know that a lot of people like to bring them all the way up like that uh and you can do that in regular robot mode or you can do it just for flight mode uh it's it's really up to you you have options on what you can do with prime here uh same thing with the wings the, the wings kind of give you a few options so right now i just have like the single wings and they're angled up um i like i like this look right here because it's very much so like uh messenger z had his wing so that that reminds me very much of that let me adjust the camera one more time so yeah you can kind of do a little bit of a messenger c look there if you want or uh you can do the way he's meant to you can bring the uh the wings down like this and just kind of open them up kind of the little butterfly thing and uh if i remember correctly this is how he looked on the show he had the big wings like that in a cross pattern and again you can do whatever you want with these patterns here uh up and down all the way down, out to the side, whatever. You can do any way you want. So we'll bring in his uh, his sword. And uh, there you go. So you can see what he looks like with his sword. And there's Optimus Prime in his flight mode, ready to chop somebody's face off with that sword while he's flying. And maybe even with the wings, because <laughs> they're sharp. 
yeah, very cool figure. Uh, I really enjoy this figure a lot. I think it's a very good looking figure. He was a little lacking in the in the, in the paint department, but uh, nothing you can't easily fix yourself. Um, even if if you're not experienced with it, you can just take Sharpie, as you can see, and just kind of touch him up and uh, give him give him some really nice uh, touch ups. Uh, very awesome figure. I enjoy this figure a lot. If you're into Prime, if you like the Transformers Prime series or the Beast Hunter series, this is a very awesome figure. I enjoy it a lot. So. Uh, I think with that, we pretty much covered Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Voyager Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.